we are given f of x equals natural log of the quantity x squared minus two x plus nine over the closed interval from zero to three, and we're asked to determine the points where the absolute extrema occur. The first step is to determine the critical points that are in the closed interval from zero to three. This will give us the possible locations of any relative extrema that may end up being an absolute maximum or an absolute minimum. So beginning with the given function, notice how to find the derivative function, we do have to apply the chain rule, where the inner function, often referred to as u, is x squared minus two x plus nine. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of natural log u with respect to x, which is one divided by u times u prime, or in our case, one divided by the quantity x squared minus two x plus nine, times the derivative of x squared minus two x plus nine, which is the quantity two x minus two, and therefore the derivative function is the quantity two x minus two divided by the quantity x squared minus two x plus nine. And now that we have the derivative function, the critical numbers will be where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. The rational function is equal to zero when the numerator is equal to zero and the denominator is non-zero, to determine whether the derivative is equal to zero, we set the numerator of two x minus two equal to zero and solve. First step, add two to both sides, and then divide by two. Simplifying, we have x equals one. Now it's important here to check to make sure the critical number is in the closed interval, and notice how one is in the closed interval from zero to three. We also need to consider where the first derivative might be undefined, which would be where we have division by zero, or where x squared minus two x plus nine is equal to zero. However, if we take a look at the graph of y equals x squared minus two x plus nine, we can see it does not intersect the x-axis, and therefore it doesn't have any real zeros, which means there are no real numbers for which the denominator will be equal to zero, or where the first derivative is undefined. So to find the points where we have absolute extrema, we need to evaluate the original function at the endpoints, since they're both closed, as well as the critical number. Which means we now need to determine f of zero, f of one, and f of three. Again, we're using x equals zero and x equals three because those are the closed endpoints of the interval, and we're using x equals one because x equals one is a critical number. So using the original function, f of zero is equal to the natural log of the square of zero minus two times zero plus nine, which equals natural log nine. f of one is equal to natural log of the quantity, the square of one minus two times one plus nine, which is equal to natural log eight. And then finally we have f of three, which is equal to the natural log of the square of three minus two times three plus nine, which is equal to the natural log of, we have 18 minus six, the natural log of 12. From here, the greatest function value is the absolute maximum, which is natural log 12, and the least function value is the absolute minimum, which is natural log eight. So we can say the point where the absolute maximum occurs is the point three comma natural log 12. More specifically, the absolute maximum is natural log 12 at x equals three. And the point where the absolute minimum occurs is the point one comma natural log eight. More specifically, the absolute minimum is natural log eight at x equals one. And let's verify this graphically. Here we have the graph of the given function over the closed interval from zero to three. Notice the highest point of all the points on the graph over the closed interval is the right end point, which is three comma natural log 12. Natural log 12 is approximately 2.485. Natural log 12 is the absolute maximum at x equals three. The lowest point of all the points on the graph over the closed interval is this point here, the point one comma natural log eight, where natural log eight is approximately 2.079. Natural log eight is the absolute minimum at x equals one. 
I hope you found this helpful.